A boy fishing in a Nakati pond found a surprising catch at the end of his line. An alligator. And when he reeled it in, he was confused about what to do next. New at 5:30, Action News Jax Jenna Bourne asked state wildlife officials what you or your children should do in this situation. I mean, I really didn't mean to do this. Connor Ford wasn't expecting to hook an alligator when he went fishing in a pond in his gated Nakati neighborhood. I was casting my little frog lure, all right, trying to catch some bass, and here we go, this alligator just chomps on him and freaking pulls as hard as he can. Connor called his dad. Even as a parent, I didn't know what to do, so I can't imagine what goes through the mind of a 12-year-old. Here's what Connor decided to do. Hold this tight, tight, don't let him go. So I gotta go down there. Oh, shoot. Oh, snapped off. Then he got a net and tried to catch the gator because he didn't want to leave the lure in its mouth. I didn't know if it would like maybe get stuck there and it couldn't get out and maybe he couldn't eat. Florida Fish and Wildlife tells me this is not the right move. An FWC spokesperson says the safest thing to do is cut the line right away and leave, no matter how small the gator looks. I don't want to get bit. Connor says the gator he caught was about four feet long. That's the distance between me and this fence. FWC says four feet is the minimum length to remove a nuisance gator. A lot of young kids, we see a lot of them out are now fishing and getting involved outdoors, and they, they don't realize that some of this nature is out there, and it, could be, it can be dangerous. I'm going to have to break the news to my mom soon. And from now on, Connor is only allowed to fish if he's with an adult. Reporting in Nocatee, Jenna Bourne, CBS 47, Action News Jax.